So a lot of you are probably asking, why do we even bother going ahead and going talking about, you know, holes in walls or different um, like patterns in which, you know, waves interfere with themselves? Well, it's because you, light has actually this unique property where if you go ahead and shine it through, a, well, basically a wall with multiple holes or a, what we call a grating like this, and if those holes or gratings are fine enough, like a razor blade, or maybe even this uh, head of another razor blade that I have here, you can actually notice what uh, occurs, and that's called a diffraction pattern, a pattern of waves interfering and also uh, coming together in a very particular way. And they're actually very unique and also a lot of fun, but they're a key part of physics and actually tell us a lot about waves. Um, I've actually posted some videos about diffraction patterns um, that you will see um, before, but in this video, we're actually going to go ahead and try out to make some diffraction patterns out of light waves. And what I have to assist me here is my red laser, which is part of my um, temperature gun that you've all seen before. I also have a blue laser. Right there, you can see it. Okay. And you notice, and if you remember, these different colors actually mean different things. Uh, for my red laser, it means that uh, the wavelengths are much longer here. You know, so I got a red laser, so the wavelengths here are going to be much longer, but at the same time, uh, you're going to get a very low frequency. Well, here, you're going to have a much shorter wavelength, but a much higher frequency, since this is actually going more into the UV spectrum. And we're going to shine it through different types of gratings. The first one is going to be a normal comb, and I'm going to put out the finer side of the comb, you know, the harder part where you're going to go ahead and see it. And I'm going to actually set it up like this. Then we're after we're going to proceed to a woman's laser razor blade, okay? And you're going to see we're going to shine it uh, through the blades themselves, okay? I also have a men's razor blade that's actually a little finer. Uh, there's actually four blades as compared to three. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and stick it through this one, which is the um, electronic uh, razor blade, and that actually has a really fine gratings right here, and those are machine machine precise so i'm actually kind of excited to see what patterns we get out of that one this is going to actually uh, talk to us about you know what happens when we uh go ahead and have different uh holes in the walls and what happens to light as you go ahead and change it at different frequencies mainly shining uh light that at a different frequency through one of these is actually going to produce very different results and i can't wait for you to see that and hopefully you'll see a pattern that keeps reoccurring here all right Go ahead and enjoy this video. I'll see you later. We're going to actually zoom in a little bit. There it is. You notice you get this one very fine bright spot in the center followed by these other lines that kind of actually uh, represent the interference. So basically these uh, areas where it's very bright inter uh or basically where the waves are colliding, but then after there you have these other areas which are darker. And that's where they're actually interfering themselves. And I noticed I had to zoom in because the grating was actually a lot finer with this men's razor here. All right, let's go ahead and let's do the final one. And that's actually a very fine grating. This is actually one of these electric razors. And you can see if you zoom in compared to everything, they actually have all these lines but you can notice the grading is actually a lot finer so we're actually going to go ahead and shine the laser through this and we're going to see how much different it is there it is and again you can see this now because it's a bunch of holes facing in every direction actually everything is diffracting in kind of the star pattern so just to show you, it's not a trick of the light. It's actually uh, something that actually happens. The waves are actually interfering and um, causing this uh, increasing amount of um, interference with each other. So in some places, they're going to cancel out, and in other places, they're going to actually double the amplitude. And it actually, um, you can see where the center is with that center bright spot, but everywhere else, it's actually going different. Now, remember though red light has a very very uh well it has a very 
long frequency, but it actually has a very short wavelength, which is one of the reasons why this actually worked out so well. There's not much energy going through red light. However, we're going to now try it with the blue laser. I'm going to go ahead and show you. No, no, it's a little bigger and actually uh, it's a lot higher energy. I'm going to go ahead and you can see it right there. And uh, from my perspective, I can actually see the beam. So we're going to go ahead and shine it through the same materials. I'm going to start off with the comb, just like we did last time. So here's the comb. So here's the fine points of the comb. Now remember, uh, this blue light, although it has a much higher frequency, the wavelength is going to be a lot longer. So it may be actually cause a difference. And you can see already... I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it actually uh, is actually shining through the light. Not as easily, but you can actually see that some of the wavelengths are already being divided by the light. Right here. And there's already been a little bit of diffraction happening. Okay. We're actually going ahead, so that's the comb. We're going to move on to the woman's razor, and we're going to see how that diffraction happens. You're going to notice there will actually be a big change versus how we did it last time. So again, I'm holding it vertical. You notice uh, the diffraction. Oh wait, there it is. It's actually a lot wider. You can notice in some places happening but it's a lot harder to see oh there we go and you can see the diffraction happening but it's happening a lot finer scale it's happening a lot differently compared to the red light because of those longer wavelengths okay we're going to switch over to the men's razor okay now remember this is actually when we noticed everything started getting a much finer tune we're going to go ahead and see what happens uh with the blue light with a much longer um yeah so we have a wavelength that's actually a lot uh higher frequency but a much shorter wavelength so here we go You notice it's just fresh and further and it's really hard to see because of how small these divisions are. This perhaps is my best attempt, but you can really see some of these actually happening. They're really fine tuned. Okay. And finally, we're going to move on to the last one, this razor, which actually has a lot of holes. And we're going to see how that match makes a difference. Now, do remember, these wavelengths are going to be very small. So we're going to go ahead and see how small they can get and what effects are going to create as they shine through. You can sort of see it there. But again, it's not as visible as the red one where we had a lot of other wavelengths that, you know, um, we're able to go ahead and see very finely. You go ahead and just so you can compare red and here you can see the star pattern quite easily as compared to this guy. Same circumstance, but you could see the very short wavelengths it's like it's much harder to differentiate you know where the pattern ends and where that begins so you can see the differences in frequency and the amount of holes and how fine those holes are can actually make it i'm going to have you explore this further in the simulation as we keep moving on hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys later